It's casual, not formal. It's hosted by Rory Pendlin. Oh, and Renee in tow. It's time to start the show. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Welcome to a very special edition of It's Casual. Um, I'm going to bring up my co-hosts. Yes, I have two co-hosts tonight. Uh, we have Renee Yorsky and Mr. Manny Zamora. Yes. He, he didn't here. even know. Hello? We just we, we blindsided him with this. We were just <laughs> last minute. We were like, I invited myself to this party. No. I'm, I'm gate crashing here. Oh, no. R Renee no. used the same link for a, a meeting. <laughs> And my show, thanks. Uh, so we, we we all ran into each other. It's like, oh wait, wait, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? So we exactly. decided, hey, let's just do the show. Let's all do yeah, the show. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, we're all friends here. <laughs> it's like when Julian Lennon and Paul McCartney recently ran into each other in the airport. And they sat down and took selfies, and then they hung out for a while. So, how you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm fine. Well, I'm just happy to be on the show. <laughs> so, uh, it's see, this is what they apropos. do when they're together. It's very apropos for Manny to be here because he is an artist, and yes. and who we have on the show uh, is a very special. Um, she's all about art. She's she's an artist. She's a singer. Um, she's, she's into photography and fashion. I mean, she's all about art and, uh, I am looking forward to this interview. I've been looking forward to this interview for a long time, been trying to get her on the show. We finally coordinated this, this time for July 4th, a very special July 4th episode. With the fireworks everywhere. Oh, it's yeah. You can hear the fireworks outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I know my cat can hear them. <laughs> so, um, all right. So let's bring her on up. Amira Sol Aguila. There she is. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Good morning from here. Yeah, yeah. You are you are eleven hours in the future. <laughs> yes, I am eleven hours in the future. You you have joined <laughs> Indiana Jones in the des dial of destiny, and now you're eleven hours in our future. <laughs> 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 so very good to see you again. Uh, it's been a long time since we've seen each other. Yes, exactly. It's been a while since uh, I was in the, what do you call it, uh, in China, right? Right. Uh, this is where we met. I wanted to explain yes. this to the audience. We met in mm -hmm. Xinjiang. She was uh, uh, doing a, a long-term singing gig uh, there uh, with a, a band called the Mustang Band. Uh, and she was playing in uh, a club called Polo. Actually, it was a restaurant. Yes. He, he couldn't, uh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. He couldn't really call it a club, although that's what it was. <laughs> it a restaurant. And uh, she was, I was just blown away. She's a wonderful singer. She's a beautiful singer. And um, we got the chance to, to work together and sing together for a little while. And, um, and then we moved on, you know. Um, yeah. I ended up, she, she, she is originally from uh, the Philippines. I wanted to ask you about that. Where exactly from the Philippines uh, were you raised? I'm raised in Manila, and I, I grew up there and studied there. And then uh, we moved to uh, Baler Aurora. It's a province now, mm -hmm. uh, north of the uh, Philippines. Mm -hmm. Well, Manila is isn't it? Yes, yes. It's kind of like six hours, oh, five, five hours now, travel. Okay. It's uh, beside the beach. Not really uh, in front of the beach. It's a beautiful place. Okay. That's right. Manila is not on the beach. Um, it's a big city. Oh, no. It's a big city. Yeah, it's a big city. But it's five hours from the beach. Wow. There's, a, there's a, actually, there's like Manila Bay. There's a lot of like water. Uh, you know, you can see a lot of uh, beaches in the Philippines. Surrounded by water, so <laughs> it's an island. Okay, I see. Um, so, uh, when did um, 
I guess I should ask, here's the thing. I didn't know you were an artist when I met you in, Ch in China. I didn't learn that you were an artist until I, I stumbled across your website when I moved here back to America. And I was like, wow, she does fantastic art. Um, so what, what actually <laughs> came first in your life? Was it music or was it the, the art? I think what came out first uh, in my life is like singing. Okay. The music. Oh, <laughs> did, she, did she freeze? Looks like we're getting a little bit. Like, okay, uh, she's back. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's sort of back. Yeah, you froze a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> my uncle has a big influence in my life about music. He's the one who taught me how to sing. He always played different types of like uh, music in the house, like, for example, Whitney Houston, uh, different types of bands. And then I'm uh, starting to that point, I'm, um, uh, what do you call it, gaining uh, inspirations from him. Like, okay. Marisol, we need to learn this song. He, he, he taught me how to, like, yeah, imitate the, the vocal. Okay. Yeah. Right. And, and, and then, uh, The, the drawing things mm -hmm. I done with that. And he also taught me how to draw. So so the My person uncle. that actually taught you how to sing ended up being an art teacher for you as well. <laughs> yes. He yes, ended up yes. influencing both paths in your life. Wow. Yeah. It's just fantastic. Like that, yeah. And that's the way it usually happens, you know, <laughs> it all just kind of comes together. Yeah. Yeah. Just like Rory. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, true enough. <laughs> Actually, the, the, for me, the art came first. Mm. Um, and then I, uh, you I, I actually got into acting to try to meet girls <laughs> in high school. I swear to God, it's the truth. And uh, as it turned out, yeah, that that was the, that's what I really loved to do. I mean, I, I actually put the art out for, for many years. And just performed, you know, singing and acting. Uh, but but I picked up my brushes again uh, when the pandemic hit and started painting again. So I didn't know that, Rory. We're learning yeah. something new. David wanted to know if Manny sings. He says, inquiring minds want to know. Uh, oh. I, I attempt it. <laughs> I, yeah, I do. <laughs> I, I mostly do karaoke. <laughs> but Manny does is a musician and he does make and compose these songs now he's a musician yeah. it's incredible that's right we we yeah. saw or we heard i should say uh, yeah. a piece of music that he created not 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 long ago recently for something yeah. really well, I to ask, very, I very to ask, nice tune yeah thank you i wanted to ask marisol uh what is your what is your primary language when you sing do you sing in english do you sing in filipino it's a good what question. is your um, well, both, yes. When I started singing, I, I usually sing Filipino songs, but in the Philippines, there's a lot of like singing competitions, and even in the church, when I started singing, uh, it's mixed like we have Tagalog songs, like the mother tongue of the Philippines is Tagalog, and then uh, English, English songs, oh, okay. both, yes. Oh, awesome. When you were singing a polo, you were doing English songs. <laughs> yes, it's all English, yeah. In 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 in, in polo restaurant before. So you're in Cambodia now. Where, what are you singing in in Cambodia? I'm singing different dialects. Actually, it depends on the guest, but mostly we sing English, English yeah. song. Yes, and. Uh, Tagalog. Now I'm I'm trying to push Tagalog in some Cambodians. I'm learning how to sing Cambodian songs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Uh, when you were in China, you sang Chinese songs too, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Multilingual. Yeah. That's Multilingual in music. <laughs> like music has a like kind of like connect you in many ways. Like it brings you in different levels. Mm-hmm. It's so, it's so powerful, yeah. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. 
what what is it like to be an international singer? Jet jet setting to different countries to sing. Yes. What, what, what's give give us give us a kind of a, a, a what, what what is it like for you? Uh, <laughs> more explosions. What is it like for me to? Uh, sorry. Uh, right to to go to different countries to sing and. Oh. I, I mean, you're 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 quite in demand. I mean, you're always working. That's good. Yes, yes. It's it's been like my life for almost like how many years? Many many years. It's like music and arts for me. It, it uh, I can say it brings me to where I've never been, and it's it's kind of like part of my um living also and also I'm, I'm learning a lot from this it's not like i'm going to a, a country just to earn you know for money and things like that but at the same time i learned the language i learned you know i mean i mean people right. most of my from different countries that i met yeah you like to travel. yes i love to travel yeah i really love to travel and uh from 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 that i i go back to uh, always sing, but I forgot how to paint. It just came back when I went to Vietnam. I got inspired again. So Vietnam has a lot of like, uh, I mean, what do you call it? It inspires me a lot because I saw a lot of uh, people there. They don't have like, they didn't even study art, but it's kind of like it came out naturally to them. They can just draw right away right. without any okay. but, like, drawing first like they just paint and then i asked them did you study art and things like that and they told me no it's just like they have their own shop it's a small kind of like art gallery and yeah. they didn't even art it's, it's it's from their heart that i i got inspired when i've been there like 2009 2009 yeah. i forgot how to draw for a long time <laughs> and uh my dog is barking <laughs> and yeah Vietnam uh, put me back into. I thought that was Manny. Art. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I have, I have, uh, my my house. Our house here is like a jungle. I have 14 cats and two I know dogs. You have a lot of cats. <laughs> wow. <laughs> if you go to our website, you'll see a lot of cats. Uh, that's a lot of cats. We got one cat. He's more than a handful. Yeah. You've got 14. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't guess that many. I. <laughs> I thought we yeah. had six or seven, but wow, more than that. <laughs> oh my God. You just you just like animals. I love them. I love them. They like they make me happy. Although sometimes they are chaotic, if all of the curtains here are broken and things get broken, but it's okay. <laughs> it happens. It so happens. You have dogs and cats together. Yes. Now, when you go to, again, to another country, you bring all of your animals with you. Uh, no, I luckily I have my sister here with me now. And uh -huh. before, I asked someone to take care of them if uh, we go somewhere else. Okay. For holiday, uh, people here are nice. They, 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 uh, you know, they take care of them. Animal. Okay, so Cambodia now is kind of your new home. Yes. Yes. Okay, you you've been there for a while. I didn't realize. I've been. Yes, I've been here for almost thirteen years. Wow. Yeah, see, because when we <laughs> met, it was like two thousand seven in China. Yeah. Two thousand seven, two thousand eight. Um, and again, I I kept following you on Facebook. Because I had a VPN. You have to have a VPN in China to, to do like Facebook yeah. <laughs> and and YouTube. They they block those in China, so you need to get a VPN. I'm happy that you can connect. You see, it's hard to connect in China. I have many friends there. They use uh, Hotspot yeah. before, and now they have VPN. And I yeah. seldom connect with them because it's so hard to you know. Yeah. To connect. Now, if you're in Hong Kong, it's okay. They don't block stuff, but. But in China, yeah, they'll, they'll block YouTube and Facebook and things where people have free speech. <laughs> ah. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> that's how the world works. 
<laughs> some are okay, some are not. They're blocking this show right now. <laughs> the show will never see the light of day in China. <laughs> so we're gonna talk shit about the Chinese. They they know better. They know better about me. They. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Ben Benman again. <laughs> oh, you got yeah. that Rory Fenlon. He got it under the wire again. Uh, <laughs> Rory Fenlon is the best. I the best. The first person I've ever seen. Because I don't know what is impersonated. Like, oh, and then he impersonate uh, Roy Orbison. Yeah. Who's Roy well, Orbison? Exactly and then they find it. Roy Orbison from Mississippi. And then Bob, the okay. guitarist, told me, "Look okay. at this. Let Look me, at this guy." Uh, let me explain who we were. I, I, I listened to. Him. Oh my God, he really sounds like Rory. <laughs> <laughs> he's really there, kind there of like impersonate him, like in the kind of like he's an Australian. Target. He's he's an Australian. His his name is Philip Player, and uh, he had different rooms, different restaurants. Uh, quote quote not club. No, they weren't clubs <laughs> <laughs> in China. Restaurant. Uh, Polo was, like Polo restaurant. was the first one. Polo was the first one, and that's where we met. Yeah, uh, and that was that was probably his longest. He probably had that one for a couple of years, yeah. um, and uh, yeah, he liked me to do the Rat Pack. He wanted me to do Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin. Uh, he loved the Roy Orbison. Evidently, Roy yeah. Orbison is very popular in Australia, which I didn't know until, until he told me. Um, and uh, yeah, they're having a big uh, like impersonator thing going on here in September that I may actually go to. Um, I don't know how many Roy Orbisons they got, but, <laughs> but I'm actually talking to them about doing my 800 Voices Plus show. But anyway, uh, I wow. don't know. So, yeah. So, but Orbison is, is the fallback. I, I, I'm, that's my best one. That's my best impersonation, especially singing wise. So, but thank you for bringing that. It's Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley, I remember that. <laughs> El yeah, that's right. I did Elvis there too, didn't I? Wow. Did you did you did? Yeah. And I remember the place is full. Like it, you have tickets that time, right? And it, the place is full. Oh, oh, well, I remember it was full for Orbison. I, I full for uh, Orbison. Robert and Bobby uh, uh, were, were backing me up on that. And uh, then mm -hmm. after my show, you would go go in and do your thing, and you would you know get better response. <laughs> Because you know you're you're a beautiful woman, so with a beautiful voice. Uh, let's let's go to your art. Let's talk about your art. Ren Renee, are you there? She is. Um, this is this is some of uh, Mirasol's art, which which I stole from her website <laughs> because I di I didn't know she'd be able to show it. So we went ahead and made a little PowerPoint presentation. Um, do you still have this piece? Yes, I still have that piece. Because that's the one that, that really caught my eye when I when I first saw your art. And I almost mm -hmm. bought it at the time I talked to you about it. That was like a, a year and a half, two years ago. Yes. Um, just before we started doing It's Casual. And I just really like this piece. Thank you. Um, this is pen and ink. Um, different uh, colors. Yes. It is beautiful. It's it's a is yeah. this is this a, a self portrait? Uh, it's not a self portrait. It's just okay. like um, okay. that time when I drew that, I am just sitting and thinking of like I like to um, uh, draw uh, women's. I don't know why. When I when I grab yeah. pencil, I try to think of something like okay, let's draw something else, and it always goes to like a drawing of a girl or a woman with a flower or things like that. But at that moment, I, I, I tried to experiment and, you know, I'm still learning and then add something white. I, yeah, let's add snake, make it a little bit darker and things like that. And yeah, that's how it become. become. Okay. It reminds me of uh, Frida Kahlo, some of her work. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, when you see some of these later, you're going to see some influence from Diego Rivera and, and Frida Kahlo. That, I thought the same exact thing. Diego Rivera. 
that one is uh, also oh, <laughs> and the red colors and the flowers about the blindfold if there's uh, something behind it it's like well, always, before the show we talked about your love of flowers and and that kind of thing mm -hmm. you like nature yes yeah you like flowers and butterflies and <laughs> yeah. So that's definitely that's Perfect. definitely a lot of your art. Um yeah. yeah, David is asking you to touch on the brain being heavier than the heart in this one. Yes. I I can uh I try to uh uh how can I explain it? Because we always use our brain in like intellectual things or like managing things, deciding things, but we always forgot our heart. And right. uh, yes, sometimes it's right, but being always right, it's, it's and lacking of like, you know, feelings, you forget people. Okay, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. And then you forget other feelings. And, you know, if, if you may hurt someone, you hurt, you know, um, hard to explain, but yeah, all in all, it's, it's kind of like that. Like well, there's, always there's being a snake like, tipping uh, the scale on the left hand side as well. Yes, like always <laughs> being right. It sometimes makes you look like so many things. Like uh, yeah, in a kind of like uh, dragging down people, something like Wonderful that. Wonderful piece. We're, we're going to talk about this piece after, after the show. Okay. <laughs> I'm so interested in it. <laughs> I hope I can afford it. <laughs> okay. um, again, another okay. beautiful piece. Um, this is on dark canvas, black canvas. It's in. It's on a white canvas. It's an oil paint. Okay. I use oil paint. That's there. Um, that's the one. You like me to explain this one? Your art looks like it's on dark canvas. Mm. Like you always see beauty outside. Mm -hmm. Like you know, you look at in the mirror, like oh how how beautiful I am, how beautiful they are, and things like that. And you don't see what's in you, what's inside them, and things like. That. I mm -hmm. think I better to be blindfolded sometimes and look what's inside. I, I, I put blindfold that I think was the same. This one is an inspiration from uh, digital art before when the digital art became, you know, so in. Mm -hmm. I tried Popular. to experiment. Yeah. And, yeah. An I love wings. Yes. Now you actually have a picture like this of you with a lion somewhere. Oh. I saw. <laughs> <laughs> this one is uh, from the community artist uh, focused on uh, nature around us. And I use lion and I said like, oh, what is the most uh, thing that you fear of? Like I'm always fear of making a drawing of lion because it's difficult to, to draw. I can still, um, I, I cannot still perfect it. Because, you know, um, so you're more um, fearful of drawing the lion than actually more. meeting the lion. You... <laughs> exactly, exactly. Because I cannot do with the lion. I want, I want to touch, I want to hug them. I love big cats. I love cats. Yeah. And yeah, in, in the drawing, you can be with them, you know? It's like uh, surreal imagination. So like, yeah, wow, well, I'm, I'm with the lion. Uh, and and you don't realize and how it, huge they are until you get next to one, and they exactly. are gigantic. Yeah, yeah. Pause the size of your head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that one. Yeah, because I can, oh, I'm a mom. I am a teacher also. So I, I make some drawing. Of, I make a drawing of that. Like, you know, you need to be like a good example of what you're doing. Right. 
what your you read. unplug them yeah. teach them read <laughs> and yes and a little butterfly uh sign of, uh symbol of hope if murray langston the unknown comic is watching that's not you <laughs> <laughs> I'm friends with Murray Langston, actually. We're connected through Facebook. <laughs> oh. Is he also an anarchist? Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> I've got to explain to her who he is. Uh, oh. <laughs> he is a comedian, but he also oh. plays another comedian who has a bag on his head. He's called the Unknown Comic. Uh, <laughs> and I see the butterfly on the shoulder, that little touch of nature that you yeah. like to throw in there. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's one I really love. That's my favorite. Really? It's okay, a yeah. yeah. I I I love uh India. Yeah, I love I love their culture. Mm -hmm. Like I, when I first came, I when I first visit India, I, I'm really kind of like blown away. Like you're back in a ancient time they kept their culture really you know uh tight until now you see vibrance the colors the, how they uh even even if it's really hard like people living in a, like in the philippines also a hard yeah. life so you can see them uh uh blooming if there are like everywhere i i look it's 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 art yeah they do it all like art for me. Yeah, it's inspiration. Yeah. We had a, a guest oh. on last last week, Carol Stein, and her husband Lee Wilson, mm. and they they're going to India and they're very excited about it. They love to go to India, and they're telling me. And uh, it's actually mm. the way they described it. It's like, well, hey, you know, this sounds like a good trip. I might want to go do this. I definitely would like to see the Taj Mahal and and uh, you know. But uh, Taj Mahal, yeah, yeah, more more of what they were saying was just very intriguing and very interesting. Yeah, I've never been in Taj Mahal. Uh, I've been in uh, some part of the uh, some part of India in Mumbai, in uh, Hampi, uh, Goa. I will. I would love to go to Taj Mahal. That's why I put Taj, Taj Mahal in that drawing. So I've never been that's, there. That's the tourist <laughs> thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> you go, when you go there, you gotta go. Gotta go take picture in front of the Taj Mahal. <laughs> I, I will surely go back there. I will surely use it again. Again, beautiful use of color here. I love your use of color and some of the stuff that you do here. Thank you. Uh, all right. Yeah, that one is. That's the first painting I made when I was in Vietnam. When I try to go back, uh, making a okay. you know, drawing and painting again, and uh, it came up, uh, the seed. The, I call it seed of life. This one's nice. And that one is very. That one is very emotional. Yeah. Uh, it takes two to tango. That one. <laughs> <laughs> and also, yeah, taking care of the take nature. Care of it, it will take care of you. Yes. It's like a giving tree. <laughs> a yeah. giving tree, yeah. That's, that's the place where I work. The name of my school is the giving tree. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> I hate the end of that story. <laughs> <laughs> they chopped the tree down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, really, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the same story I'm thinking of. <laughs> yeah, the Shel Silverstein story. Yeah, they, they chopped the tree down at the end. Yeah, because it didn't work out. No, it's not like that. <laughs> no, the, the tree actually says, "Look, you know, I'm old now. You can chop chop me up and make firewood out of yeah. me." And I'm like, well, oh yeah, nice I saw I saw a story about that. Ending. Yeah, they, 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 the little boy came come back and. Chop, 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 making something of three, and then that she don't have to give anymore. Nothing just to give anymore. Um, actually, at the end, the boy becomes an old man, and he sits on the stump when he's an old man. 
but it's still a sad ending for the tree. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the tree keeps on giving, which is nice. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is a, a plate, it looks like, that you've done. And you've actually um, uh, surrounded it with beautiful flowers. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, wood canvas. Oh, okay. So it's uh, a round canvas. Yeah, round canvas. Wooden canvas. Oh, uh, I use and it's inspired by nature, like outside, like, yeah, there's a flower. It's, it's inspired by the flower. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one. I, uh, I do love African, yeah, motherhood, African culture, the colors, and how they take care of their families. Mm -hmm. They're all like families. And this one is like uh, we, we uh, with the community artists also, uh, we exhibited that in uh, here in Phnom Penh. Yeah, David is saying, one of our viewers, David, is saying that he just went to your page and listened to some of your singing. Wow, powerhouse voice. Amazing. Yes, she is an amazing singer. Oh, that's you. that's why she's able to actually, you know, live as a singer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now, is this uh, a self-portrait? Uh, self-portrait? I think no. Uh, I think just it's a uh, it's a uh, uh, I I when I was in Vietnam I what do you call it, fascinated about Vietnamese beauty. Uh -huh. and one of the uh, country I've been that I saw a lot of beautiful women. And uh, yeah, so like I, I painted, like actually there's a lady singer in Vietnam, I okay. think, the inspiration. Yeah. Wow. And she said, She's a yeah a good example from young 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 generation in Vietnam. And next we have a, a unicorn. <laughs> that was you just did that one for fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that I'm is my a unicorn so today. <laughs> yeah. They're going to like exploring how to use the, you know, the bamboo, you know, when the bamboo first came out in like, you know, uh, digital painting and things like that. I tried to, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was a digital mm -hmm. painting? Yes. It is really? Painting. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It, I have been, I'm having a hard time, actually. It with that, especially like with the, oh, thank you. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, there's we're seeing some angst here. <laughs> but which again, yeah, artists do that sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, ball and chain. Yes, it's kind of like yeah. If I if someone will look at that, like say, they always ask me like, so what is that?" Uh, what what do you think? And then they have their own kind of like, yeah, I think the girl is like trapped on something and want to let go. I think, yes. That's how it is. Is that pencil? In, yes, pencil. Okay. Pencil. So she's very fairy-like. So naturally in my mind, I'm thinking, oh my God, a fairy got stuck in a spider web. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she's never going to get away with that ball and chain on her ankle. <laughs> she got double trapped. She got into the double trap. She is in her quite life. a dilemma, that fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it, 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 it's hard to explain, but it can, you know, you can have like your own explanation with that. Because when I paint, I just like, 
I mean, I draw to say, draw something like, you know, sometimes I don't mean something. Okay, let's put this, let's put it back here. Okay, let's put that one. <laughs> now, this is kind of different from your other artwork. Um, it, it looks like you might have scratched um, yeah. paint on a canvas to get that yeah. effect. Okay. Oh, it's not a canvas. Yeah, it is. it's also an experiment. Uh, it's a digital paint, painting. That's a digital. Yes, a digital painting. Um, yeah, I try to experiment with the colors and the, mm -hmm. how, how to uh, make a transparent color. Like I like, I like magical things. I like to, you know, learn how to make you know, fairies and things like that. Magic and nature. Mm -hmm. Nature, more nature. Very Ooh. Nice. It's very nice. Uh, that one is like, I try to make yin yang balance of life, but it, it kind of like, yeah, let's continue add something and things like that. On and on and on and on. Like I get to the, uh, fascinated before in like fractal art, so I, I try to add them. Now, when I do art, it's very fast, <laughs> um, but the best art that's out there has a lot of detail, has a lot of detail work in it, and there is a lot of detail in what you do, um, which makes your art very rich. Thank you. I um actually oh yeah that one it's another uh artwork that inspired from India. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like uh, I like the sari. I love sari. Yes. And the, yeah. And I I like I like the food. I like how they cook. I like I like everything. Uh I like Curry. I like all the food in India. Actually, that's my favorite. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, really. They actually had some good uh, Indian uh, restaurants in Shenzhen. They are. They have a lot. Yeah. There, there have you place. ever tried the, what they called it, a barbecue place when we were in Shenzhen? Uh, Indian barbecue? Yeah, the Indian barbecue. Um, you no, know, I, there was, there was a couple of Indian restaurants that, uh, were in, one was in Shaco, uh, the other was in the Coco Park area, uh, that, yes, that actually yes. did very fine, uh, 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 Indian food. I, I like curry. Curry is my favorite. Uh, and my mm. friends would go there occasionally and we would, we would do, we would do Indian. And, uh, yeah, that was... That was, uh, I mean, I, it felt, um, what is the word I'm looking for here? It felt authentic to me. <laughs> um, <laughs> you cannot have anything like that. Just everything's like this. Like, and like, you know, you, uh, when you're like uh, an artist, you put, yeah, I love colorful and that you want to put all the things that make you satisfied. The Indian food does that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's true. Yeah. It inspires color. <laughs> it inspires color. When you when I'm cooking, yeah, also like you put the the, 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 yeah, the, the, the ingredient. It's certainly colorful. Yeah. Okay. Now this this was an interesting uh, choice. Um. Uh, is it blood? <laughs> is it yes, it is. It is. Paint? <laughs> yes, uh, it's a, pe a pencil, a pencil, a pencil and pen. Yeah. It's uh, inspired by Sedislav, the Polish artist. And I'm looking on his artwork. Wow, I like the surreal, dark artwork mm -hmm. of him. So, like, uh, yeah, I. I uh, uh, I, I try to like imitate the style 
because I'm really, really inspired by his artwork. And then this is come out. This come what out. was the name of the artist again? The Polish artist? Uh, Belsinski. Is that Stadislav? What is his name? Is it, he's an uh, artist from Poland. Uh, let me look. Stadislav. Stadislav. Beksinski, Beksinski. Oh, uh, Kaczynski? No. Is it, uh, uh, how to say this one? Because it's really. Can you see that? Stanislaw Beksinski. Yeah, Stanislaw. Yeah. Stanislaw Beksinski. Be 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 Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he is, is is. Polish name. Wow. Way too many wow. <laughs> <laughs> He is magnificent. He he made surreal surreal surrealism artworks that is kind of like out of the world. Mm. It's so beautiful and dark. I love dark art. And uh, you know, it inspires me sometimes. But, you know. Very good. Yeah. Thanks. Nature. Back to nature. Back to nature, yeah. That that could almost be a Hallmark card. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to reduce it to that, but but it does look like that could be on a greeting card. I mean it's beautiful. Thank you. I I, I like no way land. I love uh, cold land. I cannot live there. Just like I'm, um, my my skin got allergy on uh, dry, cold weather. But I love the scene that that kind of scenery. Yeah. Definitely looks like a winter scene. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, winter scene. Yeah. Oh. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think yes. You can just judge it if you want this, to. <laughs> this was a boring day for you, <laughs> <laughs> and so, I am like, I'm gonna have uh, some fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I do that actually at school. <laughs> well, there's a lot of things going on. I thought, okay, okay. It's from like, let it go. And I love the ladyfish. Just thrown in the middle. The lady. <laughs> yeah. Don't conform, be transformed. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and of course, you have the school of fish, which is <laughs> very clever. <laughs> very nice. Oh, I love this very one. This is piece. my favorite yeah. one. That's your favorite one? Yeah. This is my favorite one right here. Beautiful piece. <laughs> <laughs> she is my friend, so my co-worker. Oh, wow. Yes. And uh, she is from uh, she's from Bangladesh. Okay. Bangladesh. Yeah. I was going to say India, but yeah. Oh, she's got Indian influence, yeah. Bangladesh. She is really beautiful when you see her in person. But I make her like close eyes because she's like she's very calm. She helps guys very calm. <laughs> the oh, that one. Time. Uh, that one is the first drawing. Also, when I start to go, uh, I go back uh, doing pencil art again in Vietnam. This one, mm -hmm. like fixing and, uh, sewing, sewing her dress, sewing patches on her dress to keep keep moving forward. But the time, the sands of mm -hmm. time are pressing on. Well, she had time. Hmm. This is a nice piece. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, that is like inspired by outer space. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's got a kind of a, a, a astrological kind of feel to it, you know? Um, you know, like the astrological signs, the bear. When you look at the sky, you can look at something. Yeah. You know? Right, yeah. Mm. 
Our one is, yeah, nature. We all go back to nature one day. Mm -hmm. Even how, how rich, how beautiful, how, you know, we all go back to earth one day. It seems a lot nicer here the way you portray it, though. <laughs> <laughs> a little smoother transition. <laughs> mother and child. Yeah. yeah. That's mother and child. That one I made for my friend from Austria. He said, like, can you make me a uh, a drawing for my mom just uh, as a, a beautiful gift like her birthday is coming so she's going back to Austria and then she asked me to draw her and her mother so that's about I drew for, for them for both of them and from Australia Austria oh Austria oh. Austria Austria In China, they call Australia Altalia. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, but you're talking about Al Austria. Was. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Austria. <laughs> <laughs> this is neat. Sounds the same. Yeah. Ah, thank you. That one is, uh, yeah, I, I love animals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a puzzle. <laughs> Spot the elephant. Uh, yeah. Spot the gorilla. The gorilla is easy to spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got a bird. You got another, yeah. yeah. That's gorgeous. <laughs> that's that's lovely. Now this Thank one, you. you have the figure with it with their with their eyes open. I noticed a lot of your mm -hmm. pictures you have them with their eyes closed. Is that is there a reason why this one's their eyes are open, or is this just that was just the there, there's a reason because you know uh, we always like we see them struggling, but a lot of people still you know didn't do anything. Uh, yeah, with her friend, we all it was, see uh, a lot of things like the serenity. Yeah. Yes, yes, and this one we all see the beautiful things around us, the animals, and we saw them struggling, they are disappearing, but yeah. yeah. Most people don't see. Right. We are slaves oh. to Gucci. Ah! <laughs> that one is yes. Uh, when I was in but Vietnam, I was starting to draw again, like mm -hmm. kind of like yeah, I think it's hard to explain because we are all vain in some ways, but it kind of like become, it's too much. Like you become like that. Yeah. And one well, like person say, told me. That stuff gets put in our head, you know, <laughs> literally. <here>. Yeah. <laughs> one person that I don't know in the, in the, in Facebook, I just randomly say that like, you must not put the names of the brand. Um, Why? <laughs> well, because they could sue you. <laughs> but yeah, you got to be careful. I know. Um, I know. If you've had no trouble yet, you're probably not going to have any. Uh, I hope that this show doesn't bring you trouble <laughs> by showing that. <laughs> But beautiful, beautiful artwork. Very interesting, uh, intric intricative uh, artwork. Uh, uh, again, when I, I realized that you were an artist too, it just kind of blew me away. You know, I just and she's good too. I mean, she's. Uh, I already knew you were a good singer and a, a popular singer, but uh, to to be such a good artist as well, you just have a lot of talent. Thank you. Yeah. And I then I forgot so many years. <laughs> Luckily, I it came back. Same here. So, um, photography. You're you're getting into photography. photography. Now. Uh, I, that I is some, one some light and shadow uh, stuff that you were showing on your on your website. Yeah, I actually that is one of my uh, um, 
uh, dream that I like to pursue still that photography. I, I think the art and photography go hand in hand. I really do. I think most artists oh, yeah. have a good eye for I'm just using what I like. I have a tendency to photograph. Then, uh, next step, I will, I'll post. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, I still, because I saw, I saw your, your work also and uh, yeah, I, I photographed a lot of alleyways when I was in China. I just, I'm, I'm in, I was just mm -hmm. intrigued by the alleys, uh, the little alleys between buildings there in Shenzhen and Hong Kong, yeah, and, and in other places too that I went to. Uh, um, the nature there, like Guilin uh, and uh, yeah. uh, Xi'an and places like that, was also very beautiful. Uh, uh, I never made it to Shangri La. My wife wouldn't let me go. <laughs> <laughs> she just said, no, the elevation is too high. It's going to give you a headache. Can't, you don't want to go. And I'm like, no, I do want to go. But um, yeah, I photographed a lot of wonderful things when I was in China. Um, here I photograph railroad in tracks. <laughs> I'm into railroad tracks. I don't know why, but, but there it is. But uh, uh, fashion, yeah, you're also uh, kind of a fashionista. You dress well when you go to your shows. Yeah, I, I I try to yeah uh, look nice when I'm singing. Like I love I love dressing up <laughs> and try to um, it's like uh, what do you call it? It depends on the music or like what band I'm going to be with. Mm -hmm. But my favorite is when I sing with the uh, pop band, like rock pop band. Like, you know, seventies mm -hmm. style, things like that. Like, I love that style. I love that style. That's my favorite. Usually, up because you can dress up. Yeah, sorry. You can dress up like dress and like singing in a hotel again and again like that. But dressing up like go back to seventies and things like you can be whatever you want. You can design yourself, like you know. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that style. Like what, what are you going or... to do the most? Uh, do you have to do the old standards and, like you say, dress elegantly with a piano player, or or do you get to do the pop thing more? <clears throat> well, these days I'm I'm playing with mostly jazz band. Okay, jazz. Yeah. Yeah, and I also have like a uh, party band, but now. Uh, we we stopped doing that because the band members went back to their countries, and now I'm focused on the uh, jewel and we play folk, rock, and original songs. Trying to yeah, yeah, yeah. We started already. He's coming back from holiday this August, and we will do the the singing painter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a, a schedule to do that. Again. I'm going to call Renee forward again because I know she must have questions. Okay. Yeah, we have, um, they were asking if you could sing for us. Hi. I don't, so I don't know if you want to perform a song, but people were asking because Rory was saying how gifted you are. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, 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 do you have a track ready? Uh, I, I didn't tell you you'd have to perform on the show. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I, I should have. I can do a cappella. I can do a little bit of a cappella. <laughs> you can do a cappella. All right. Well, that's okay. Fine. We All right. That no, too. that's great. That'd be wonderful. Anything you could do. The, the fans want to hear a taste of it. Oh, okay. Any request? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay. Anything um, at all. Yeah, anything. Okay. At last, at last, my love has come along. My lonely days are over. And life is long, and 
singer <laughs> the hype was real <laughs> I, I wasn't going to get you to do unforgettable. <laughs> i wasn't going to do that to you <laughs> she had to sing that song so many times in china uh sing what <laughs> with phil phil player the guy that hired us oh. she would have to do unforgettable with him unforgettable oh, okay. <laughs> that, oh. that was one of his favorite songs <laughs> And, and oh, he would do uh, Bad, Bad Leroy crazy. Brown. Oh, my God. Bad, you've Bad never, you've never lived till you've seen <laughs> Phil Player do Bad, Bad Leroy Brown. <laughs> I'll have to send him a copy of this show so he can see it, that we talked about him, that he, he was thought about. Yeah. He was remembered and loved. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, even with the uh, slightly bad connection, it still sounded just so good. So yeah. good. I mean that that's that's a sign of a of a great singer. And Thank you. <laughs> David All was right. asking, is, is she, do you stream anywhere? Um, I stream anywhere at the moment, and uh, I don't know. I I don't. I I would I would I would learn. I would learn to do that. In the future. Oh, that'd be really cool. Yes, yeah. I, I like, uh, I like to co uh, collaborate with the uh, co musicians also to do things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and who are your musical influences? Oh, uh, my musical influences. Uh, when I'm young, I started like imitating uh, Whitney Houston. <laughs> Whitney Houston. Yeah. Yeah, I remember you singing. Um, uh, what's the one that Dolly Parton did first? Um, oh, uh, I will always love oh. you. I will always love you. Yeah, yeah. You used to, you used to kill that song. I mean, you, you just knocked it out of the park when you did that song. Wow. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff people would come to see her for. You know, I mean, she just really, really blow you away with you know her talent. I, I, Thank yeah. you. And uh, also Shaka Khan. Mm -hmm. Yep. David is also saying if you want to do a live stream, she can join. He's coordinating a uh, a virtual concert, and if you want, he, he would book you for the headliner. Oh wow! That would be uh, yeah, great. Thank you. Of course, you'd have to sing a cappella the entire thing. No, I'm kidding. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> like, I'll do it. <laughs> I love a cappella. No, David, that was okay. wonderful. I think that was wonderful, <laughs> David. Thank you, David. Thank you. Yeah, I, say, I will your way so I know but I know I'll think of you every step of the way and the Oh, oh man, uh, I I I got chills. <laughs> <laughs> I have chills. We're not gonna be was... able to top that, folks. Exactly. <laughs> My God, that was awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you for coming on the show and, and, and getting up early for us uh, to, to be interviewed and, and, and have some fun with us. Uh, I wish you nothing but the best. I mean, I know 
you're living the life. You're actually performing. You're actually doing art and you're living, you know, and that's that's wonderful. It's it's an inspiration to, to other artists and performers out there. Uh, so thank you again for taking time to talk with us, Mirasol. So good to see you again. Good to see you're doing well with your 16 cats. <laughs> and for those. And we hope you have a wonderful day today, July 5th, where you are. <laughs> thank you all to Rory. Thank you to uh, to both of you. And uh, wish all the best also and more power to your uh, show. And uh, it's uh, a pleasure to be here. Thank this you. is actually show number 90. So. Oh, my God, show number 90. Yeah, we're creeping up on 100 episodes now. So I'll send you a link after we get off here. And I've got some AI art that I made of you for our promo that I'm going to send to you. I always do that for our guests. So, again, thank you so much for taking the time and uh, wish you nothing but the best. Thank you.